If you bought a whittling kit from me, then this tutorial is especially for you. You should have some hardware, instructions, and a piece of cottonwood bark ready to carve into your very own turtle. Let's get started. Please be sure to use a sharp knife and wear a cut proof glove if you were just beginning. This is one of my favorite whittling knives. It is a chip carving knife from Lee Valley Tools and I think it runs about $22. Remember, a dull knife has to be forced through the wood and is therefore more dangerous than a sharp one. Our first step is to draw our feet on the bottom of the turtle. Don't worry if there are rough spots. That's a natural part of carving bark. And often that part is going to be carved away. Now, also from the bottom where we just drew our feet, make a mark all the way around the turtle. So draw a line around the bottom so that we can now lower this part of the turtle down to this line, leaving the feet behind so that when we turn them around and set them down, there'll be a gap here. We start by doing a stock cut around the feet. So we just follow the line that we just drew. we make our stock cut. The knife is straight up and down and we bring it around and you can go over it gently once or twice more. Remember to keep your piece on the table especially when you're doing stock cuts. It's a very thin piece of wood and if it's to bounce off or crack through you want to hit the table. You don't want to be holding it like this. It'll go into your hand. We make our stop cut about the same depth as the line we drew. And now we remove this material using push cuts like this up to the stop cut and pull cuts like this up to the stop cut. And we try to cut away right up to this line. That was a push cut. We'll take that right to that line. And now I know I can just flatten this out and go around the feet. So you can see I have to embrace my hands on the table. You can see that there's no skin in front of the blade. If it's going to slip, it's going to go off safely. That's a push cut. I'm using my dominant hand to hold the blade and my non-dominant hand, I'm using the thumb to push it. For a pull cut, again, keep your hand underneath and braced on the table. And then I keep my thumb here my dominant hand that's holding the knife. I often choke right up on the handle too. And then you pull the blade gently up to that stop cut. If you're not gentle and you go right through, you can cut your thumb. Some carvers will wear reusable fabric tape or a band-aid around their thumb just to protect it if they're doing a lot of pull cuts. Keep doing those push cuts and pull cuts all over the piece until your feet stand out from the bottom. Remember, if you're doing your push and pull cuts and your shavings stick, just go ahead and redo your stop cut straight up and down and that will usually let 
the pieces that are hanging on will let go. Once you have your feet, it's time to do the other side. Use a push cut to carve from the top outwards and downwards to create the rounded shape of the shell, like this. Just go around carving downwards a little bit. except for right at the head. You can also use a pull cut to come along the edge like this and help round it over. Don't worry about cutting the feet off at this point because we're going to make them much thinner than they are right now. So be careful not to take any right from the center. Just take from the edge and keep going around and that will help create an even rounded shape. Now do you see how it tore instead of shaving nicely like it did down here? That tells me that I went against the grain and it tore out. So I'm going to go the other direction and look at that. It carves really nice again. That's how you know if you're going against the grain versus with the grain. Around the head, we want to go down and then turn the knife and come from the tip of the nose back to that cut and we want to do that over and over again like this push and pull push and pull and then when that all comes out of there your turtle head will be looking up we can actually come to the bottom and do a push cut right, right from the bottom of the head to the tip. And look at that. Now the turtle is looking up. And you can see we're starting to get a rounded shape. So again, don't take any from here. Just keep going around. Sometimes it's hard to get the right angle. Just go slow. Try it, turning it around and do a pull cut instead of a push cut. Here we're at the tail. And I'm just continuing to round over the edge. Keeping this center bit. You can see it's starting to get a nice shape. So I make shallow cuts, shavings, and I keep going around and around instead of trying to take too much all at once. You just keep whittling away at it. Be careful of your head. I just tried to take my turtle head off. I can clean that up. Just be really gentle because we've now made that very thin. When your feet are almost thin enough, do a stop cut 
right along the edge of the shell. Like that. And then do a pull cut flat, gently up to that stop cut that we made in the shell. And that will create a separated foot. Do a stop cut along the edge of the shell where it meets the foot. Now do a pull cut with a flat knife gently up to the shell where we made the stop cut. And now the shell is separated from the foot. We can clean up as we need to. We see a little bit here. We'll do a push cut, gentle, and a straight down cut, and that cleans that up. Clean that up there too. Here, like that. Now you'll notice this foot's thinner than this one. So I'm going to redo my stop cut very gently. You don't want to push too hard or it'll snap that right off. And then another pull cut. That should come away. And we just keep doing that until, until they match good enough. I like to carve pretty much straight down and make the tail slope downwards. Please remember to always cap your blade when you're done carving or taking a break or switching tools. Once you're done your feet, your head, and your tail, and you've rounded the shell over, take a little sandpaper to it and that will help you see where maybe there's still a high spot that you need to take down and it'll give it a nice smooth feel and look. You can go ahead and draw a very simple turtle pattern on the shell or the full 13 plate one that is realistic. And then I'll show you how to do V cuts to lay in that pattern. Okay, I drew on my lines and now I'm going to show you how to do a V cut. To make your V cuts, with a regular straight knife. First cut along your pencil line one direction, then turn the piece around and cut along the same line in the opposite direction. If you plan to do a lot of whittling and carving, then the very second tool that I would recommend you buy is a V tool. This is a V tool. This allows me to cut the V's in one swipe instead of two. They usually tend to be much cleaner. And it's a little quicker. Now you can see that we're helping these plates to have shadow and depth to them. Congratulations, you've carved a turtle. Seal the wood with your favorite wood sealer. You can use a spray-on varnish or something like this homemade wax oil. I have a video that shows you how to make it. It just brings your piece to life. I hope this video has helped you complete your whittling project successfully. Thanks for watching.